Good evening, families and friends, brothers and sisters in the law. Hallelujah. Praise be to Yahweh. You highly welcome on this evening video. On this sunny evening video, brothers and sisters, I highly welcome you. This is Sister Masa coming to you with this YouTube video, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. You are highly welcome on this video, families and friends. If you're first time coming across my video, you are highly welcome. Hallelujah. On this video, it's all about trusting God in our generation. What's it what you are? Just join your sister this evening, families and friends, as we worship and serve our God, our Maker. Our King of Kings and Lord of Lords, as we gave him the glory that he deserved. You are highly welcome on this video, brothers and sisters. It's all about trusting God in our generation. Hallelujah. The word of God is sharper than any two as well. Families and friends is the lamb to our feet, families and friends. Hallelujah. It's spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You are highly welcome. I just welcome you on this live video, families and friends. I want you to subscribe to this channel, like and share my videos. Hallelujah. Praise be to Yahweh. Thank God for Jesus for your life as you come to subscribe to this channel. God will bless you. Hallelujah. I come, this even message I'm bringing to you, brothers and sisters, is concerning for you and I returning. The topic of my message is for you and I to return to our Maker. Hallelujah. I want for you and I to return to our Maker. To return back to our Maker, our Creator. The Creator of the heaven and the earth, families and friends. If we have been backsliding, if you, are, if you was a prayer worshiper, a choir director, in a choir singing for God, a minister of the gospel, or, 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 or usher, in any department, brothers and sisters, that you are being for the Lord, and you are on fire for God, that every day you pray, every day you, you are taking fast and doing things for the kingdom of God, brothers and sisters, loving people, caring for people that are in need, brothers and sisters, this is the time you, you and I, if you have been backstabbing, you have left all those things that you are doing for God, and you backstab, I won't, I won't come to tell you the good news this evening, that you are highly welcome to come back. God is calling you and I to come back to his first love, to return the message. The topic of my message is returning back to God, brothers and sisters. Join near to him and get closer. Returning back to our first love. Join near to him and get closer. This is the message, families and friends. Return back to our God. Draw near to him and get closer. Get very closer to him, families and friends. Get closer and closer and closer and very closer. Intimate. Be a concrete relationship. That you will be to be very, very closer to your God, brothers and sisters. Nothing in this world can separate you and I from the love of God. It's a famine. It's a pestilence. It's a hardship. It's a destruction. It's a war. It's a limitation. It's a rejection. It's a racism. It's a discrimination. It's a segregation. It's a trouble. Listen. And just name them. This thing cannot separate our brothers and sisters from the love of God. We need to love our God with our whole heart, mind, body, and soul. The duty of a man, hallelujah. The whole duty of a man, brothers and sisters. Hmm. Hallelujah. Is to fear the law and do his commandment. Fear the law and keep his commandment, the whole duty of a man in this world. Brothers and sisters, I come to you with the good news of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ from the throne of grace. Brothers and sisters, we are living by the grace of God. This is why I can always tell you the throne of grace. I bring the message to you from the throne of grace. We are living by his grace. So this message is from the throne of grace coming to you this evening. Hallelujah. What's the way you are? Your sister just welcome you. You are highly welcome to come in to join your sister this evening on this live video on YouTube. Brothers and sisters, subscribe to this channel. Share my videos. Let the spirit of the living God visit you whatsoever you are. And minister unto you as your level will be the same as you come across this video. May the anointing and the peace of God visit your home, visit your heart as you listen to this video. Thank God for Jesus. Yeshua HaMashiach is coming back very soon. The King of the world, the Messiah is coming back very soon. What are we doing? Are you preparing yourself for the second coming of the Lord, brothers and sisters? Are you getting yourself prepared for the second coming of our King of Kings and Lord of Lords? We got no time to waste. You need to know today. You don't know tomorrow. Salvation is free. Now is the day of salvation. Tomorrow might be too late, families and friends. I just welcome you on this live video. So subscribe to this channel, share my video, and like, brothers and sisters, and leave a comment. On these videos, God will highly bless you as a subscribe to this channel. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> Before I get into anything, this evening, brothers and sisters, I would just like to offer a prayer. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, in the name of Adonai Elohim, Yahweh, Jehovah Shalom, Yahweh, the God, the universe, I am that I am. Papa God, this is Dr. Kamehameha. For her people, your people, your chosen and peculiar people, coming to you, 
Your people with the word, your word that will never pass away, even as a heaven and F pass away, is your word I'm coming. With to your people unto them this evening, Father. May you minister unto the Holy Spirit, minister unto them, even as you use me as a vessel this evening to bring for your word unto them. They will fall upon them, O oh God. The level never be the same. They will transform the life, O oh God. Let them be tested for your word in the name of Jesus. Tested for salvation. Tested for your kingdom. Seeking your faith and your righteousness. Holiness. Hallelujah. Committing yourself. Turning back to the first love. Returning back to God. Returning back to his kingdom. Returning back to his love. His salvation. His kingdom and his righteousness. This is the time for me, my friend. We need to return back to our first love. God Almighty. He first loved us. Even if we are not faithful, he will be faithful. He love and his goodness and he must endure to all generations. Be a Christian or unbeliever, believer or unbeliever, his mercy endure to all generations in his world. Hallelujah. For me, friends, even if you don't know God, God knows you by your name. He knows you. His mercy, you are living by his mercy right now. Because Christ came to die. For the mission of our sin, brothers and sisters, he came to die. He will that need no sin for you and I to be saved, to have eternal life tomorrow, brothers and sisters, to have eternity. Jesus Christ came and died on the cross that you and I, I will have eternal life. First John 1 now says, if you and I confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive our sins and for cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Praise be to Yahweh. Father, I want to thank you for your word, your message, your people this evening. Minister unto them, visit them, O God. The new week, O God, that we are entering into, O Father. Bless every home, every family, every child, young and old, going to daycare, going to school. Bless my children. Bless my life, my children, grandchildren. Be with us. Cover us as you dwell in your secret place. Let us abide on your shadow and under your wing, O God. You said you will, there's no plane that will come near my dwelling place. I can't so the place of the enemy or my life or the, my platform or my children. My grandchildren, I cancel the demonic evil place of the enemy against our life. Because girl is you that live in us, that he's the healer in the world. No weapon for the case. So shall prosper us after the first 17. Tell us, no weapon. He said, every turn around say, against us in judgment shall we condemn. It is condemned. I condemn every demonic tongue for all our life, our destiny, and our health. I cancel the plan of the enemy over your life, your family, your, 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 your loved ones. The place of God that it will prevail because his plans for all is for us to prosper even as our soul prosper. To have an expected end. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Our God is good all the time. All the time he's good to you and I. You will be faithful. I bless God. This is our prayer we have come to ask in the matchless name of Yeshua HaMashiach. In the person of the Holy Ghost. Adonai Elohim in the name of Jesus. Through the blood of Jesus. We are set free through his blood. The blood of Jesus. We never lose his power. We never sent our sent two thousand years. We never the blood of Jesus. We never lose his power. Families and friends, it will never lose his power. Our Messiah blood. We never lose his power. We never friends. No, no, never. King Jesus blood. We never lose his power. We never lose his power. Hey, our Messiah, your blood, we never lose his power. We never, friends, no, no, never. Yeah, the blood of Jesus, we never lose his power. Mm. We never lose his power. King Jesus' blood, we never lose his power. Friends, we never, no, 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 never. Our Messiah, your blood, we never lose his power. Friends, we never lose his power. Hmm. Thank you, Father. Your blood will never lose its power. Sent 2,000 years ago, Father, your blood was shed on the cross of Calvary. It will never lose its power. Hallelujah. Praise be to Yahweh. Hmm. Brothers and sisters, Ecclesiastes, the first scripture reading, take it from the book of Ecclesiastes. Hmm. Chapter 12, from 13 to 14. That tell us hmm, the whole duty of a man, the whole duty of a girl, the boy, the young, the old, in this generation, is to fear God and keep His commandment. This is all God needs for you and I to do in His world, brothers and sisters. Fear Him, 
and keep his commandment. This is why he went for you and I to do for Mr. Friends. And the whole gospel of the law in our days that is preaching that you and I need to seek after our salvation, seek ye first the kingdom of God, Matthew 6 33, his righteousness, his kingdom in righteousness that every other will be added unto you and I is repenting and salvation. That is the entire message for the war unto Jesus' second return. Repentance and salvation. That is the word, families and friends. Cross over the bow. This is why you and I need to seek repentance and salvation. We need to repent. We need to ask God for forgiveness of our sins and our iniquity. We all need to repent, brothers and sisters. Young or baby, young and old, whosoever it is that is born into this world that was created by God. We all are sinners. We were born into sin. We need to repent and seek after our salvation with trembling and fear. Fear and trembling before God. Brothers and sisters, the Bible told us that Jesus will come like a thief in the night. We don't know when he will return. He will come like a thief in the night. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. But Ecclesiastes chapter 12, from 13 to 14, tell you and I, the whole duty of you and I in this world is to fear God and keep his commandment. We need to love one another. If you love God, brothers and sisters, we need to love one another. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. We need to love one another. Love your brother. Love your neighbor as yourself. The Ten Commandments, two greatest one, God said, love the Lord with all your heart, mind, body, and soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. That two commandments cover all the whole ten. They go all Cover all the ten, the two. That is the two greatest commandment when the disciple asked Jesus, which is the greatest commandment of heaven, of the kingdom of heaven. Jesus told them the two greatest of all the commandments that you and I should not play with in this world is to serve God with our whole heart, mind, body, and soul, might, and strength. Do not serve any other God. Do not serve others. Do not worship any others, any great, great image. It's a sin. God hate it. And we should love our neighbors as ourselves. That is the greatest of all the greatest of the commandment that you and I need to fulfill in this world. If you are a child of God, you need to fear God. The beginning of wisdom is to fear God. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Brothers and sisters, families and friends. You and I, the title of my message is Returning Back to God. Draw near, get closer. Returning back to our first love, get, draw near, get closer. This is the message, this is the title of my message, families and friends. In the end time, this is what you and I need to do. Seek the, seek ye first the kingdom of God. Brothers and sisters, it's righteousness and every other thing shall be added unto us. Do not seek anything of this world. The heaven and earth will pass away. God will stay the same. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Let us get closer to our God as he will get closer to us, brothers and sisters. Let us get closer to him every day of our life. Returning back to his first law. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I'll read for you, brothers and sisters, Isaiah. My first scripture reading. I told you the second the first scripture reading was taken from Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 12, 13 to 14, that telling all what we need to do as believers. Hallelujah. The whole duty of you and I in this world. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's to fear what? It's to do what? Fear law and uh, Let me just go to the Ecclesiastes from this one. Ecclesiastes. Let me just go there and read it from the Bible for you. Hallelujah. Ecclesiastes. Our God is good all the time, and all the time He's good to you and I. I'm just going to Ecclesiastes from this and friends. As I read Ecclesiastes for you now, that tell all the whole duty of the man. Hallelujah. It's to fear the law and to and keep his commandment. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Okay, so this. I want to 
Greek is just like for you brothers and sisters. Thank you, Lord. Ecclesiastics, Estros, my Estros, my Ecclesiastics. Thank you, Jesus. We need to fear the Lord, brothers and sisters, and keep His commandment. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, as the Bible says, families and friends. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 12. Let me go to Ecclesiastes. I'm going to read it from the scripture so you can feel that I'm giving you different because I've never asked it this far. <coughs> families and friends, Ecclesiastes chapter 12. It tells you, remember your creator in the days of your youth. For in the days of in the days of trouble, he will keep in the in the days before the days of trouble come. And the years approach it when you will say, I found no pleasure before the sun and the light. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. But uh, it gives us 13, 12 verse 13. Oh, yeah. What was 13? Yeah. Now, brothers and sisters, it gives us 12 verse 13. He said, now, nah, all has been heard. This is the conclusion of the matter. Everything has been heard concerning salvation, repentance, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord is preaching the minister of the gospel. They are busy every day telling the word of God. Brothers and sisters, women of the, many of the, women of the gospel, men, children of the gospel, God is raising, has put his spirit upon all flesh in this world in the book of Joel 22, 28. Brothers and sisters, hallelujah. Let me just tell you that he put, he said he'll put his spirit upon all flesh in this world, brothers and sisters, in our days, in our time. That what our young people are going to do, prophesy, see vision, dream, the older men shall dream dreams. Let me just tell you now. Okay. Thank you, Father. Have mercy. Thank God for his word that is coming to you this evening. Thank you, Father. And uh, Joel 2 28. Joel 2 28. Joel 2 28, brothers and sisters, don't let anyone lie to you and tell you that this person cannot preach, that person, one more cannot preach, that one cannot preach. Lot of Crap, the people are not people are pushing only the doctrine in our days and not pushing the word of God, families and friends. Hallelujah. I'm gonna be very, very careful in our days. There are a lot of gospel that is coming, brothers and sisters. People are pushing their own gospel and doctrine, deceiving God's people in our days. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Brothers and sisters, events before the terrible day of the Lord. Let me tell you the events of the terrible day of the Lord, before the terrible day of the Lord, the thing that will happen. He said, and it shall come to pass. After war, that I will pull out my spirit upon all flesh. He said he will pull all his spirit upon all flesh, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Praise be to Yahweh. Hmm. That Joel 22, 28. Joel 2, 28. Joel 2, 28. Joel 2, 28. Because I always miss this scripture. Joel 2, 28. He said, it shall come to pass, brothers and sisters, after war. That I will pull my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your sons and your daughter, if God does not want for woman to preach his word, why did God say your sons and your daughters shall prophesy? So God is leaving all his people, be a man, woman, girl, child. God will pull his spirit upon every flesh to preach his word in the end time, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. No one should tell that woman do not have to rest because of certain situations that happen in the Bible that a pro a, 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 uh, apostle or evangelist was saying something. That's why the that's why people emphasize on and talking a lot of crap that is the Bible has not spoken upon families and friends. You can't take something that happened because of certain condition where has someone feel in those days and bring it to the time that we are living in and change the word of God for that. He said it will come to pass you put a spirit upon all flesh. He said, all flesh, brothers and sisters. He separate or differentiate between what kind of flesh? He said, all flesh. Even the child according to the God can put his spirit upon our flesh. He said, all flesh. Hmm. Thank you, Lord. He said, your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see vision. 
our doctors shall prophesy. They will begin to prophesy. We, our children will begin to prophesy. God will begin to show them signs and wonders. Then our young men, our old men, will dream dreams. Our young men will what? see visions. From this friends, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. From Job 2.28. Then I will get to Ikis that's it that I will tell you to her. Verse 13 say, It has been. It has been her. Yet it's the conclusion of the matter. Fear God and keep his commandment. This is the whole duty of a man. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 from verse 13 to 14. He said it has been her. Brothers and sisters. Yet it's the conclusion of the whole matter. The whole matter of the world. The whole matter of the gospel. The whole matter of the kingdom of the or kingdom, the, 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 the kingdom of God, the whole matter of repentance and salvation, brothers and sisters, fear the Lord and keep his commandment. That is the whole duty of you and I in this world. For God will bring every deed into judgment. Every deed of you and I, he will bring it to judgment. There's nothing to hate on the son of God, not bring to judgment. Do not think about that. He said you bring every deed into judgment, including every hidden thing. You can go on the ground, you do something, brothers and sisters. You feel that nobody sees you, God sees you. Hallelujah, praise be to God. Every secret, anything that you and I do in a secret, God sees it. And He's going to bring everything to judgment. We're going to be careful what we do behind the scene. Hallelujah, thank God, Lord. Including everything that is hidden, whether it be a good or evil, He said He will be there. Thank you, Jesus. That is a scripture reading from Ecclesiastes. Then I'll read for you. Just, uh, uh, I'll read for you. First Samuel twenty first Samuel twenty five coming to you with a scripture about you and I returning back to God, brothers and sisters. Before we turn back to God, you gotta know what you need to do. Seek after for your salvation with tumbling. Hallelujah. Turning back to God. It's turn is seeking the righteousness of God, seeking after your salvation, making things right with him. We need to turn back to him in holiness and righteousness. Not live in sin, not returning back and living in sin. Fifteen yeah. First Samuel fifteen. 24, 25. First Samuel 15. 24, 25. Hallelujah. Praise be to Yahweh. I'm going to read the second scripture reading will be taken from First Samuel chapter 15 from verse 24 to 25. 24 say, Then Samuel said to then Saul said to Samuel, I have sinned, I have violated the law command and your instruction. He recognized his sin. Hallelujah. You cannot come back to God and remain in sin. And remain in your calamity and your abomination, brothers and sisters. You have to confess your sin. First John 1 9, he tells us, if we confess our sin, he's faithful and just to forgive our sin and to cleanse you and I for all unrighteousness. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. God is good all the time. And all the time, he's good to you and I. Praise God for his spirit and his word that's coming to you, brothers and sisters. 24 of... Uh, of first Samuel 15. Then Saul to Sam, then Saul said to Samuel, I have sinned. Saul is telling Samuel that he has sinned. I have violated the commandment of your instruction. Hmm. He violated the instruction that was given to him by what? He told him, he telling Samuel, Saul is telling Samuel that he has violated the law commandment. He telling Samuel that he have violated God's instruction. He said, I was afraid of the people, so I gave into them. Now I beg, forgive my sins and come back with me. Hallelujah. He said, Now I, 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 I repent. I realize what I have done. Forgive my sins and come back with me. He tells Samuel to come back with him. Hallelujah. That Samuel, Samuel, will, Samuel will forgive him and come back with him because he had wrong, but he had confessed his sin. He had realized his mistake, what he did. Realizing our mistake. And repenting for it, that is the most very, very most important thing I call love, brothers and sisters. For us to recognize our iniquity, our sin, and confess it before Him. He love it. Because you cannot live. You cannot hide your sin before God and live in righteousness. That is not possible. You gotta confess it. That He will forgive you. Hallelujah. And walk into holiness with Him. He said, Come back to me so that I may worship the Lord. He tells Samuel to come back with him that he will worship the Lord. But Samuel said to him, I will not go back with you. 
Samuel is saying to him, I will not go back with you. You have rejected the word of the Lord. He tell him the consequence of our action in this world, brothers and sisters. Samuel is telling Saul, so, I will not go back with you, back with you to the law for you to pray because you have rejected the law. You have rejected the law, the words of the law. And the law has rejected you as a king over Israel. Hallelujah. He said, you have rejected the law. I cannot come back with you. And God has rejected you as king over Israel as well. Thank you, Jesus. If you refuse to come back to God, God will reject you, brothers and sisters. The time you need, you want to come back to God, that time God will reject you. Hallelujah. This is the time of salvation tomorrow. My big two liberals and sisters, we need to come to God in our days. We need to return back to God, our first law. He's waiting for you and I to return back to him, family and friend. Because when it's too late, he will reject you. Don't wait until he rejects you. Just has to reject Saul. Hallelujah. For him to be king over Israel. As Samuel turned to leave Saul, as Samuel turned to leave him. Hallelujah. Yeah, 24, 27. Caught hold of them, of his robe, and it torn. Samuel said to him, The Lord has torn the kingdom of Israel from you today. Hallelujah. The Lord, before Samuel could leave, saw because of his rebelliousness that God could not take it. God took it from the throne for he ruling. Or Israel to be king. God took it from there because of a disobedience. Brothers and sisters, if we disobey God, eh? That God sent his prophet, God show up revelation and things for all to do, how we need to walk in his status and we disobey him, he wrath for four appoint you and I. Yes, we can be very, very careful. Brothers and sisters, the children of God that God has called for his kingdom, for his work, we can be very careful how we're serving God. We can be obedient. He said, before he can turn to leave Saul, so he caught hold, he caught hold of them, of him, of his robe. He caught hold of his robe and it tore him. Samuel said to him, he caught hold of him and the robe tore him. Brothers and sisters, and Samuel told him, the law has torn the kingdom of Israel from you today and has given it to the one of your neighbor. Hallelujah. He said he had torn the kingdom from you today. He had torn it. He take it from you and give it to one of your neighbor. If you are not yet ready to serve God, God will take the gift that He has in you. He will give it to someone else to serve Him. If you are not yet ready, brothers and sisters, God will take that gift and give it to someone else who is ready. He said He take the kingdom from you and give it to your neighbor. Hmm. To the one better than you, the one that is better than you, the one that is ready to serve God than you. Say you are not yet ready. You are joking with the kingdom of God. He will take it from you, from this friend, and you will give it to the one that is ready. Thank you, Jesus. He will give it to the one that is ready for him. That will be better than you and I. Brothers and sisters, he will give it to that person. Who? He who is the glory of Israel and does not lie or change his mind. The one, brothers and sisters, who is the glory of Israel. Thank you, Jesus. Who does not lie or change. You lie or change his mind. Do not lie and change your mind when God has called you to do something for he is not a man that he should change his mind. Hallelujah. He is not a man that to change his mind. Brothers and sisters, he who is the glory of Israel does not lie or change his mind for he is not a man to lie or change his mind. Thank you Lord. The soul replied, I have sinned but please honor me before the elders of my people. And before Israel, come back with me. Hallelujah. He's still confessing his sin, that he has sinned against God. And he's telling Samuel to come back with him. So Samuel can be with him and go to the elder of the people before Israel. Come back with me so that I may worship the Lord your God. So Samuel went back with Saul and Saul worshipped the Lord. Then Samuel said, break me again. Again. King of Amak, the Amekians, Amak, Amaktets. Agar came to him in confidentially, thinking surely the bitterness of death is past. But Samuel said, As your soul is made woman chalice. Hmm. 
So will your mother be childless and more woman. Wow. Jesus, how am I saying? Samuel is giving him the revelation of him. But Samuel said, as you, as your soul has made woman childless. Hmm. His soul that he had, he said it made woman childless. So will your mother be childless among women? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And Samuel said to Agar, to death before the Lord, Gideon. Then Saul lift up Ramel, but Saul went up to his home in Gideon. And Saul, until the day Samuel died, Saul had to leave and went to Gideon until he stayed there until the day that Samuel died. He did not go to see Samuel Saul again. Though Samuel mourned for him, and the Lord was grieved that he had made Saul king over Israel. Hallelujah. The Lord grieved, even though he asked God to forgive him, but God grieved the day that he made king over Israel. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I stopped from, I read from 1 Samuel uh, 15, 25 to Twenty-five to thirty-four. No, to thirty-five. Twenty-five to thirty-five. Twenty-five to thirty-five. Thank you, Lord. Then I'll read for you Matthew, the second scripture reading from this. I'm trying to be taking from the book of uh, uh, and uh, Matthew twenty-seven from one to three. Let me read it quickly. I think it'll be the last scripture reading. Matthew. Matthew. Thank you, Lord. Matthew twenty. Okay, seven. Matthew 27. Hallelujah, please be the Yahweh. Matthew 27. Until the 4, Matthew 27. Hey. Ah, Matthew 27. Hey, Matthew 27 from 3. Thank you, Lord. When Judas, who had betrayed him, saw that Jesus was condemned, he was sealed in remorse and remorse and returned the 30 silver coins to the chief priest that he took. Jesus, when he, because of 30 pieces of silver, he betrays Jesus, who knew no sin. Hallelujah. When he saw that he had done wrong, that he betrayed Jesus, he was condemned, that, that Jesus was condemned. When he saw that, after he betrayed Jesus, brothers and sisters, Julius, when he betrayed Jesus, he saw that Jesus was condemned. He was sealed in remorse and returned the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priest and the elder. I have sinned, he said. He said, for I have betrayed innocent blood. Brothers and sisters, we need to come back to God in righteousness. This man realized his mistake, how he betrayed Jesus. Returning back the silver pieces of silver for his mistake that he made. Brothers and sisters. For him, they wrote him by hanging himself. He gave the 30 pieces of silver to the people and asked and told them that he has sinned against, he has sinned by betraying innocent blood. Then they said, what is that to us? They told him. Because he had already betrayed Jesus. They had already taken him. They replied, what your responsibility? So Jesus threw the money into the temple and left. Then he went and hanged himself. You see, brothers and sisters, we gotta be very, very careful in this world. The decision that we make from this friends, it will lead to our destruction. We gotta be very careful in decision making. We gotta wash our hands and examine our life all the time. It is our life to do what God wants us to do. He went he hanged himself. Thank you, Lord. He went and hanged himself, brothers and sisters. This one is Matthew 27 from 3 to 4. He went and hanged himself. Brothers and sisters. Because the people told him, what can we do with what you did? We got nothing to do with what you, you did. You already gave him all the money. So we got nothing to do with what you, you betrayed Jesus in left with you. So he went. He was so frustrated when he hanged himself. That the wrong decision he made about hanging himself. Nobody to take the life and go and have eternal life. No. Hallelujah. He said, go and pray and ask God for forgiveness. And cry to God in circles and ashes. That God will forgive him for what he did. Then go hang himself. Because he had no eternity 
He can do eternal life by thinking himself. But the brothers and sisters, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God on the YouTube channel. May God bless and keep you and uphold you. Brothers and sisters, as the word has come to you this today, is the title. The title of my message is to return back to God. Draw near to Him, get closer to Him. Brothers and seeking after our salvation with trembling, brothers and sisters. And seek after the law while He may be found, brothers and sisters. Praise be to God. May God make a face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. I thank God for his word. I bless God for you. This new week that God will uphold us, keep us on his wind and on his shadow. As some that once say, he that dwells in the secret place of the most high God shall abide under the shadow of his God Almighty. So I will say unto the Lord, he is my refuge, he is my strength, he is my strong tower, he is my deliverer, he is my rock that I stand on, he is my defender. Hallelujah. May God keep you and uphold you until another video, brothers and sisters. Thank God. Thank God. May God bless and uphold you, bless you and your family, bless the work of your hand in this new week, and lead you not into temptation, but de deliver you from all evil. Hallelujah. Praise be to Yahweh. May he make a face of shine upon you and I, and our family, and our loved ones, and every human being in our world, in this world for that matter. And make a face of shine upon us, and be gracious unto us, and give us the peace that surpasses every other understanding. In Jesus' name, amen. Peace I live with you, Shalom.